Okay, check, test, we're rolling. All right, um, what I've done here, before I turn the lights on, I have uh, purchased myself an Amscope M600A microscope, monocular biological microscope with the uh, 3D mechanical stage and um, all that good stuff. And uh, it has a single 100 power oil margin. It has actually four objectives, but it, one of them is a single 100 power oil immersion objective lens. And uh, I decided for the first time in my life to try out oil immersion, and I am thrilled. Wait till you see this. Also, I have a uh, quick cam. Pro 9000 mounted to it without the eyepiece on the microscope and no lens on the webcam. I modified the webcam, took the stock lens off because number one, the autofocus is borderline useless and uh, um, because of the, uh, the range of it, it just really, there's a little point to it unless you plan on being two feet away from your camera at, a, at half the time and at infinity the rest. Um, and even then, I don't see a point. It's really only effective at about a foot and closer, I found. Anyway, so, um, modified the camera, took it out of its original case, and put it in a small project box and made a quickie mount for the microscope out of an old webcam lens and a piece of PVC pipe. Long story. Um, break it down for anybody who's interested some other time. Right now I've got to hurry because uh, I routinely make these videos longer in 10 minutes and I can't edit at present WMV files. So I end up over limit and uh, then I can't upload because I yak a lot. I don't know if you noticed. Anyway, lights on. What we have here, folks, is out of focus. These are bacilli of some species or another. Um, in various stages of cellular division, this is a sample of dirty dishwater that I purposely let sit a couple of days in order to get these fine little critters. And, uh, working with the 100 power objective you can't just say okay well eyepiece times uh, objective equals power not with a projection system like this remember there's no eyepiece on the microscope and it's being projected simply from the objective lens onto the sensor of the webcam that's it no uh, focusing lenses in between there whatsoever um, so you have to, I'm sure there's an equation for it, but I don't have it. So what I have to do, I have to figure um, what I've seen before, like red blood cells are 7 to 8 microns. Um, I'm guesstimating that these little bad boys are about you know, 2 to 3 microns in size and length. Um, and likewise, going from uh, observational experience, I've noticed that projection using the webcam versus using a proper eyepiece on the microscope, it appears to be about three times the uh, eyepiece and microscope uh, magnification. So I'm figuring what you're seeing here depending on how large you're viewing it at. If you're viewing it full screen, you're probably looking at about 3,000 power and up. And if you're not, if you're looking at it in the little YouTube window, then you're probably looking at about 2,000 power, I'm gonna guess, but those are very haphazard guesses and probably a great deal of error there. But it's very high, <laughs> it's very, very high. It's the highest magnification I've ever worked with and the best clarity. And I should note um, very quickly that uh, magnification numbers do not always equal better, even strictly an optical. Um, pushed past a certain point, hey, hello there, buddy. <laughs> Got a flyby there. Let's go get him. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah. 
if I ever once figure out my controls. Notice the Brownian motion uh, particles moving around in a vibratory fashion. That's Brownian motion molecules of the liquid banging into uh, the debris and organisms and whatever. Below a certain size, particles are heavily influenced by Brownian motion because their mass is low and uh, and the molecules are actually competitive in mass so the collisions knock them around. Look at that nice little colony there. Anyway, uh, where was I? Um, past a certain point magnification really has no benefit because you're just magnifying blur. However, um, this microscope is performing very well because now I can see details in the bacteria where yesterday I could not. They were just blurry, vaguely uh, round shapes. Now, if you look off the tail end of that uh, cluster in the center to the left, uh, tail end of that darker microbe left of center, you'll see a tiny little particle, much smaller than those bacteria. It's actually showing up where yesterday I doubt I would have seen it at all. Oil immersion makes a hell of a difference. I did not give it adequate credit. I really didn't. Another flyby there. At extreme magnification, depth of the liquid between the slide and the cover glass is a very important phenomenon and uh, you can see two levels worth of uh, of uh, particle distribution here. You see this, which is on the slide, I think, and then this, which is attached to the cover slip. And everywhere in between, there's life. So all kinds of depths there. That appears to be a completely different species of colony here. Mixed species, interracial, you know. It happens, even in the microscopic world. Um, and it's not necessarily a bad thing at all. I should note, I'm not racist at all. I'm one of the most anti-racist people on the planet. I get very offended at racist comments, so I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I think I'm just babbling. I do that a lot. Which is why my videos keep going over ten minutes. Anyway, I should cut this loose, because I know I'm running out of time. Just wanted to put that out there and uh, give you the threat and the promise that there will be more. There will be much more. Much exciting shit down the road, definitely. And uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions about how I'm doing this, how I'm making this happen, please feel free. Shoot. I will answer any questions you have short of am I gay and crap like that. I'll answer that right now. Definitely not. I'm I'm also extremely heterosexual and I have nothing against gay people either. Why am I defending myself at every other comment? It's ridiculous. Because I know I'm on YouTube, that's why. And people are people are people are free, true expressions of their innermost selves on YouTube. Anyway, there's a time and a place for that, and it's not now. Uh, it's not here. So, hope you enjoyed this. Any questions about how to do a system similar to this, I'll be glad to answer. Any uh, questions you may have about problems you're running into, like uh, interference from infrared and all that, I've faced it and beat it, and I can help you along with that. Um, from one microbiology lover to others, I would definitely be honored to help out. Much more to follow. I'm going to do lots of these little documentary videos, and hopefully in more of them I'll know what the hell I'm looking at so I can tell you. Yeah. Anyway, for the third and for fourth and final time, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you next time. And bye for now.